Hello, my name is Richard Pratt and I am the project coordinator with Hermit's Peak Watershed Alliance. Today we are going to deploy data loggers in the Guinness River to monitor water temperature. One reason we do this is because water temperature influences most physical and biological processes in streams, and along with stream flow is a major driver of ecosystem processes. The New Mexico Environment Department has listed the Guinness River as temperature impaired and in many areas does not support its high quality cold water aquatic life use. This is referring to trout and the type of organisms that trout feed on. To monitor the temperature of the Guinness River, we are using an optical data logger that records the temperature every hour. We are deploying these in May and we will pick them back up in September. These data loggers are zip tied to rebar, submerged in the water, and then we record our temperature hourly. We will download the data off the loggers every month. We do this to ensure we do not lose any data loggers in case they are washed away by strong currents or a flood. There are many factors that influence the water temperature in a stream or a river. One is the amount of sunlight hitting the water surface. Loss of canopy cover and riparian vegetation, such as willows and cottonwoods, are a direct cause for temperature increase in rivers and streams. Another factor is the entrenchment and straightening of a channel, which is often man-made. This lowers the water table and causes a stream or river to abandon its floodplain. Entrenchment also causes a lack of natural features such as meanders and pools, which increase the residence time of a volume of water in a stream, and in combination with canopy, provide shade and depth for water to cool. Hermit's Peak Watershed Alliance has been monitoring stream temperature in the Guinness River for the past 10 years to best determine areas of stream restoration and to monitor our progress after past projects.